doing that. This is me and mine and my wife. So my wife's been, I don't want to say this to my way. Am I filming right now? Am I? Okay. My wife has been aggravating. <laughs> this whole week, Pastor Frank, this whole week, Janet, Janet, very rough at home. She's been singing these songs, wrote these scriptures. I'm a, last night, I actually got up and I shut the bedroom door. Sorry. But uh, my wife's awesome. She loves these children. Oh my God, she's crying. I don't know how she puts up with me, even when I'm saved. <laughs> the biggest miracle is that she stuck it out when I was in the world, but even the greater miracle is that she's still here and I'm saved. Hallelujah! Ain't it great to be real with God? Ain't it great to just be open and truthful? You know, because, because there's no barriers, you know, there's nothing in darkness, you know, it, it is what it is. Me and my wife's marriage is not perfect, but we love each other till the death do us part, man. I love that woman no matter what. But all of you know, marriage, you know how it is. You got to give a little, take a little. People say it's 50-50. And I want to share this with you. wife saying this might be for a marriage in here. People say it's 50-50, but I want to let anybody who's out there this morning, a husband or wife, that it's 100 100. It's not 50 50. You got to give 100% and so does she. You don't give 50 50. That doesn't make 100. 100 100 makes 100. Right? So 200. But you know what I mean? It's 100% from each of you that you got to give. People always, you always hear the comment. Oh, it's 50 50. You're 50. You got to be 50 50. No, no, it's 100 100. So this morning, I try to give Carol 85%. She draws 110. <laughs> But we're blessed today. Church, family, this is Anna Marie. Come on, give her a hand. Yeah. Uh, Anna Maria. Anna Maria. Ah, exactly. Yeah. So Anna Marie, we found out in the recovery room. Uh, Anna Maria. We found out that this young lady in the recovery room uh, a couple of weeks ago, Bill Newton had said to me, I, I hear this, I heard this voice singing in the back. And I said, really? I'm telling you, this young lady knows how to sing. I don't want to say Anna Marie because you're yelling at me again. So I'm not going to say your name anymore. You're a young lady. Huh? So <laughs> he said, this young lady is unbelievable. Is unbelievable. So I said, oh, he told me who it was. I said, really? I said, she is going to get it. She's going to get it. You're done. You'll never stop singing here now. So I said to her last week, and I was praying, and she sang, and then she sang another song the other night at the recovery room. And I says, Anna Marie, God's got great gifts for you. Yeah. Vocal cords. He wants to train them. He wants to use them. Not for anything else, but for his glory. Amen. You know, we've been praying for praise and worship leaders in this church for a long time. Yeah. We've been praying for God to turn some things around for us. Yeah. And I'm going to speak this out in Jesus' name. I believe Anna Marie is the one. Come on, give God a hand. I told her to pray about it. She's confident. She wants to yeah. get move in certain things. I got to give a quick testimony. If you knew where this young lady was three months ago, you wouldn't believe this. And I'm going to have her share next week her testimony before she sings a song. And I want you guys to understand the value of what God can do. A miracle. I'm a miracle. I was a junkie, druggie, low life, loser, the world, see me, I was bank robber, jailer. I was the worst of the worst of the worst. I'm a miracle. Oh, I might not have been healed from cancer. I might not have been delivered from a wheelchair. I might not have been delivered from being handicapped. But I'll tell you what. I've been delivered by the gospel of Jesus Christ. And it's set me free. So we can help others like Anna Marie and people in our lives that we go through these situations and problems. So Anna Marie, I am mortified and blessed over what God is going to do in your life and through your life. And as your pastor that loves you, when you have a spiritual daughter and is conceiving you to be that, I want to let you know that we're behind you. We want to help you in any way we can. We want to, we want to get behind you. We want to let you know that God's gifts things of you are enormous, but you got to step in. Yeah, yeah. You can't stick in. Yeah. Why is that changing in my life? Maybe you've got to move. Yeah. Or maybe something's got to change. Change makes change, right? So, Henry, here's the mic. Rock and roll for us, baby.
Hallelujah. Father God, they were yours before they were ours. We give them back to you. But Father, we want to do this with the family. 
We want to say, Father, this family was yours way before they were ours, church family. You had them in your mother, in their mother's womb. So, Father, in Jesus' name, I claim victory over yes. this family's yes, life. Lord. And no yes, hurry, harm, or danger. Yes, and no demon. Yes, that nothing can conquer or despise anything over any life. That they would prosper in peace, rest, health, and in all things. And the whole church said, Amen. This church is the right thing. Okay, here we go. This is the finale. Are you ready? If you want to know something real quick, you want to see um, Keyson's testimony. It's on one of our shows that we did here at the church. We're filming today. We're on Nutmeg TV on 1.30 on Sundays. If you can watch it, watch it. And um, uh, uh, Sir Angel uh, hooked us up with Nutmeg TV. She's awesome. Her granddaughter, Chelsea, is incredible. She cuts, she edits. She does everything. But listen, man, it's a blessing. Man. Give us the time. Everything's free. Come on, that's a copy. It's something like that. God is good. So I, I just want to say this morning that we love you and, and be blessed in whatever God's doing with us. Right after the right, right before the tides. Hallelujah. Oh, what do you want? Oh, what do you want? Microphone? You can speak. It's not whispering. Higher Ground Christian Church HGCC. Welcome our young kids in their Christmas cantata. Come on, young ladies and men. Come on, Miss Laura. Verses. She studied on her own, no reading, and she put it to a test of um, meditating on God's word to do this. So come on, let's hear what you got. And by the way, <laughs> today in the town of David, a savior has been born to you. He is the Messiah, the Lord. This will be a sign to you. You will find a baby wrapped in cloths, lying in a manger. Suddenly a great company of the heavenly hosts appeared with the angels praising God and saying, Glory to God in the highest heaven and on earth peace to those on whom his favor rests.
seven, seven. Ask, and it will be given to you. Seek, and you will find. Knock, and the door will be opened to you. This little young boy was under attack this morning. The, the devil, I'm telling you, how the enemy works, he even comes after our children. His, he woke up, he couldn't move his neck this morning. He was like, oh, I couldn't, he was even sore. Hey, look, he can't even stand, he was like in pain. I prayed over this morning. I had to give God his scriptures. He came in his hurting to meet with God. Come on, man.